walk up round compound see some tigers and then peats <laughs> Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Oh. Uh. Wait a minute. That's not the right remote. Uh. No. Where's your Blu-ray remote? Wait. Play. Damn it, that was eject. Uh. <coughs> She's like, really? <laughs> Seriously, Derek? Press the button again. And then it goes in. See? Loading. Problem solved. <clears throat> um... Cassie's in here. Cassie's in here in the vet center right now. Don't freak out, please, because um, probably thinking it's just like some just kind of stomach bug kind of thing. Hi, baby. Hi. Hold on. Ish volume. Thanks. I'm trying to webcast here. <sighs> I shook a pie. <laughs> yeah, you're a good girl. But she's been in here. She's been purring and she's been squeaking. I mean, it's just you can you can see some of the different things that I posted about it on uh, on the old uh, Instagram at Big Cat Derek. Um, but for the most part, thinking that she's just got some tummy upset, possibly a toothache, possibly a toothache that's causing other conditions to exacerbate. Ugh. So. Yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing. Oh, look at this pretty girl in her old lady chair. In her old lady chair. Ah, Ray Ray. Good morning. Good morning, pretty girl. Oh, look at her little pizza. She's stretching her little pizza. Ah. She's stretching her little toesies. Her pizza and her toesies. Oh, I thought I knew that I saw kind of Polly over on the other side. <clears throat> oh, there he is, way over there, Papa, Papa, Papa. <laughs> oh, how's everyone doing? Huh? How you doing? Did you miss us? Did you miss the webcast? Where you're sitting there in a fetal position, rocking back and forth in the shower. Wondering when the cast is going to come back. I know that some of you were. I know it. Oh, look, it's Piper. Oh, Pipey. Oh, oh Pipey. He's not going to come over here. All right, let's do this. Hello, all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again, welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Oh, I'm so refreshed and fresh from my, my break. I say quotes because I remember I was sitting there saying like, oh, I gotta, I gotta take a, you know, I gotta take a break and I kind of get things a little bit kind of centered, which I did. I was, uh, having some, uh. Yeah, I was just, I was, I could see things kind of going down like, uh oh, going down a road, like not good road, kind of one of those, like, 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 you have like, okay, there's stress and there's time, and now all of a sudden, like, you're starting to get crazy, and we got to fix some stuff, we got to fix some things, what can we get, like, what can we kind of take out just temporarily? I'm like, well, internet stuff is definitely one of those things. All right, great. Gone. That's what I did. 
And I say quotes because like someone even said like, oh, when you're done with when you're done with your break, they said it in quotes. It was like a comment on one of my Instagram posts. And I'm like, what's what's up with the quotes? Like, oh, yeah, they're they're pat they pat me on the head like they're there. Yeah, your little your little your little breaky poo. I'm like, okay. I'm like, no, it's it's that was it's a real thing, and it was for real reasons. I kind of needed to do it. Oh, but yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm so refreshed now. So and oh. Just a, that was the thing. I wanted to go through a period of time where, like, emotionally, I just didn't, I was just, I just didn't think about it. Honestly, that was, like, the big thing. That's even why, like, I kind of, I, I didn't really post much on Twitter. I didn't post much of anything on Instagram. Sometimes, if I felt like, okay, that's something I could just easily just kind of throw out there, sure. But resting that part of my brain where it's just like, all right, I got to get the thing and I got to get the scheduled post and I got to do the thing. I got to make sure, what's this next topic going to be? What's the next thing going to do? How is this going to work? <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to just not, yeah, I wanted to just not think about it. Any of that. I got to do this and then I got to post that thing. Answer these comments and do all that. Yeah. I thought, you know, just give me an opportunity to where I'm just not, not giving it too much of a consideration. You can just sleep, spend time with family, maybe play a video game or something, you know. Of course, I still have to go to work, I have to do all that other stuff, but at least I'm not you know, one stressor out of my life. And then I can kind of focus on the things that are important. Hi, like Noe and how sweet and cute she is. You're so sweet and cute. Hi, baby. Oh, 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 oh. oh. At least that's, so yeah, the thing, it was supposed, it was supposed to be. You know? It was supposed to be. This wonderful and relaxing time, you know, Thanksgiving. And I was like, okay, well, it's holidays and this is actually perfect. Oh my gosh, floppy girl. Floppy girl. Floppy girl. Hi. Hey, BB. Supposed to be a relaxing time, but as fate's, as fate would have it. <laughs> said like, look, you're going to try? And then it's like, nope. We're going to, life is, life is going to come at you. And it's going to hit you hard. And boy, it did for all of us here all of us um had a a very freak occurrence happened with one of our kids um yeah the, oh, there's the collective sigh of relief oh well as long as it wasn't one of the cats jeez Eric you frightened me Oh my god, it's like, just shut up. Uh, when you started saying things, I thought that maybe one of the something was wrong with the cats. Oh, it's just one of your kids. Follow, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just gonna keep watching the cats. Hi, girls. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm a little so. Hey, look. Would you hear why? What th what's been going on? You'd be like, I kind of understand why Derek's a little bit. I don't know. Everyone's a little bit salty and everyone's a little bit emotional right now. I mean, ultimately, I, well, I, I don't want to sit there. I'm not going to sit there and say, like, everyone's fine because everyone's not is clearly not fine. Um, every, everyone's alive. That's good. Hey, that's a good thing. Uh, <laughs> but uh, our middle son, Dakota, our middle son, I. Uh, excuse me. 19 years old. I uh, had, a, had a seizure the other day, a really bad one. Um, he's had seizures in the past. And. 
Uh, it's something that he's kind of had to struggle with for for years. Um, I don't know. Hi, bud. I'm Mr. Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mom, 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 hi. Hi. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hi. Hi. Hi, mister. Hi, mister. Hi, sweetie. Oh, look at you, just in the light. Oh, this is one of those very nice moments. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, look at how sweet you are. Rubby lubby dubby. Rubby lubby dubby. But uh, <clears throat> had a really bad seizure the other day. And um well yeah, like this This is uh basically what happened to him was like a it's like a medical I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I want to call it a medical anomaly, but something that is rare, I guess you could say. Something that happens with seizures is that your muscles, like, can, I mean, really, really tense up and clench up, and your body is just firing on so many of these different, you know, electrical signals, and then it just causes your muscles to just like tense and pull. Sometimes to the detriment of your own body. That's what happened. So, um, he ended up, uh, he was in bed. <laughs> That's the thing, doctors kept on asking. The doctors like, so, like, where did you find him? Like, how far down did he fall? How far did he fall? And, like, Heidi's like, he was in bed. He didn't fall. He, uh... Yeah, had a bad seizure. He, uh, he dislocated both of his shoulders. Like, his muscles, like, like, popped, popped him out. And they also, he caused, uh, multiple fractures. Or at least, I, th this is where it's like, okay, I, uh, I think, um, like, Fracture, there, there's are, there are at least fractures in the in the arm bone, like just underneath the the the, the ball, you know, joint. So fractures, okay, in both both arms, and I think that in both arms there's also damage to the cup part two. Both arms dislocated, fractured. Damaged. Yeah. Yep. That happened. That happened. I. Uh, needless to say, um, our uh, our young guy has been experiencing a considerable amount of pain. Considerable. And, I mean, he's also, of course, his arms are mobilized, slinged up the, the doctors. They, he had to go to a trauma center um, where they, uh, they put his arms back in place, at least. And, and then, of course, we're still waiting on an orthopedic surgeon to be able to actually undergo the process of uh, reconstructing. You know, the, the, the fractured and damaged pieces. So, yeah. It was really awesome, the first, because they, you know, he ended up calling a, of course, the, the morning of, uh, he had a seizure, ended up calling a, ended up calling an ambulance. Because, like, oh, this was a pretty bad one. And it's, again, not like we haven't experienced it before. So it's like, it can be scary, but it's like, okay, it's like, we've seen this, to a certain degree before, but this is a bad one, so he, he really needs to needs to get medical attention. So, you know, call an ambulance. Goes to an emergency room. Goes to an emergency room. Complaining. 
like about like my you know like his hands hurt and his arms hurt and everything and the doctors basically say just like ah it's just you know sore muscles sore muscles from the seizure here's uh here's a couple muscle relaxers maybe a little bit of ibuprofen we're gonna send you on your way we're gonna send you on your way yep <laughs> They didn't do any x-rays or anything like that at that first place. So he, he had the, he had his arms out of the sockets for about 24 hours. Just like, I don't understand why this pain won't go away. This is agony. Took him to another doctor. They did an x-ray and they're just like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Get him. And yeah, it was, that was a, oh boy. You want to talk about shit show. Finally get him. And then, like, the, the original doctors who were just like, uh, they're like, we kind of made a mistake. Uh, yeah, um, uh, whoops. Whoopsie doodles. Ended up having to take him to the, uh, an actual trauma center to get it fixed. Yeah. Needed a little bit more than, uh, a couple, uh, couple pieces of bare aspirin there, Doc. Ugh. It took like a, that's the other thing. It's like the, the but we went to that trauma center and it's actually it's one of those kind of crazy places where like the nursing staff is actually comprised of like a bunch of doctors in this one specific part of the hospital and they're all kind of like training and there was like basically they all the ID because I was actually I I've been having to travel back and forth between work and this place you know care and doing it so yeah. And I wasn't there at the time. Heidi was basically saying, like, there's, like, a team of about, like, 10 to 15 different doctors and nurse practitioners who are just like, you've got to come in here and see this wacky shit. Like, this is the type of stuff you only read about in textbooks. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so they were all, there was a bunch of people just, like, learning opportunity. And they were all in there. Oh, they had like the, you know, they were like actively x-raying and like trying to maneuver it back into place. Oh, man. Yeah. So that's been going on. That's been going on. And, uh, yeah, it, uh, again, we're still waiting on, um, yeah, Wentz, uh, his primary doctor, is pissed <laughs> to say the least i've already made a, like a number of angry phone calls i've already you know uh <laughs> sent a few sternly worded emails excuse me <laughs> this is unacceptable <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, uh, oh my god yeah, I'm, I'm only i'm not part of that world so i don't know exactly like who or how or what to say or who to you know but like she that this doctor primary doctor is just like uh, she she's basically she heard about all the thing i took uh go to the appointment like another follow-up appointment explained everything that happened um and then like the doctor is basically just like uh-huh uh-huh like opens up a drawer in her desk and like takes out like some war paint like okay cool yeah uh-huh really interesting oh oh you don't say huh yeah, <laughs> yeah. none too pleased so that's good that's good hi baby either way the big focus of course of course is on you know getting kind of the help that he needs um and uh that means, I mean, we've been, we've been up for a long, I know, Heidi especially, I mean, like, I've, I've, I have been able to get a little bit of sleep here and there, she's gotten, I don't, like, yeah, a marked lack of sleep in the last, um, week or so, Saturday morning when I'm filming this right now, the seizure itself happened on a Monday and yeah it's just been back and forth kind of staying up um we we've just having to either be within earshot 
or uh, setting up like audio kind of um, audio visual equipment so that we can kind of if he like wakes up and like starts having pain then someone can be there it yeah we've been doing that we've been doing that it's gonna be a long road it's gonna be a long road ahead um, I can't even imagine what he's going, okay, but he's tough, jeez, holy crap, is he tough. I mean, the, the, like, okay, it's, because he, he, of course, he experiences pain, and it's like, ah, he's, he's, but, man, like, for the level of, of, for the level of trauma that he and his body has been through, I, I am astounded at how, like resilient he actually has been tough kid tough kid so um yeah if uh if you know some of your comments don't get answered or maybe some of your emails you know like Heidi oh boy this, there's a lot of stuff a lot of stuff that we got to get to you know, I mean, Heidi wanted to say, like, that was a big thing. Like, if if some of you are kind of accustomed to a certain degree of, like, communication, whether it be emails, like, sponsor parents or something like that, like, that's going to, it's going to be spotty. It's going to be spotty, possibly for a couple of months. So, that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, apologies in advance. But, you know, priorities. we got to take care of the boy. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's where we're at right now. Jeez, Derek, I hope you had fun on your break. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, and, like, we had to, we had Thanksgiving, too. <laughs> like, it's the middle, it was, it's been a weird week. <laughs> it's been a very strange week. Oh, man. Well, at least the webcast is back. Yeah, I got you silver linings. Oh, hi, baby. All right. I've got to film a few different things, like, uh, in a relatively short period of time, because I've got to leave. I've got to go. I've got to go back to my other place. And i got to go to work. i got to leave Heidi alone. I mean, of course, she's got interns and Rachel, but I mean, when you have Rachel, do you, does is that mean that like might as well not be? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Ah <laughs> oh, man. All right, this is the Tuesday web. This is the Tuesday webcast, um, and I've got to film the Thursday webcast. And I also I haven't I didn't do a fancy cast either. I t I tried to kind of just like completely like clear my plate of just doing. And thinking about social media stuff. So I'm going to try to do the Thursday webcast. And I'm going to try to do the fancy cast. Links for all that crap. And I'll in the video description below. Anyway. Huh, I'll talk to you folks later. Bye-bye. Uh,